y'all, it's your boy Justin Jackson, AKA Lights Camera Jackson. And today we are gonna go behind the scenes on a recent music video that I shot. Not too long ago, I shot a music video with a very talented artist named Kevin Noble. He's a Milwaukee area artist that's popping off. His new album, Eight Winners, just dropped. Links in the description. Also links to the final music video. It was just such a dope, dope experience. I got to be the DP on set and work closely with director Michael Snowden, who's actually gonna sit in with us today and let's talk about this video. So what? All right, so I had to bring in the also creative, uh, the amazing Michael Snowden, AKA Snowden Man. <laughs> so we could talk a little bit about this shoot. So he was director on set. Um, he bought me on as cinematographer and man, what? What was your vibe from that whole concept out of the gate? First, I I went back and rewatched a bunch of that 70s show. Yeah. Um, like that was one of my favorite shows growing up. Like I'd always throw it on. So it was like the big inspiration behind it. Yeah. And talking to Kevin, like that's kind of the route he wanted to, he wanted to do, but he mm. didn't know exactly how to execute it. Mm -hmm. So like I took some of the iconic scenes from there. Mm. And I started off with this grand idea we were basically remaking the set of that 70s show. But you know, you know, when you get creative, you gotta pull back a little bit and see right, how right, much right. you can actually do. Right. So, so like, I showed earlier the uh, the rotation scene at the table, you know, the, the whip pan, and that came out really cool. I know we had some other ideas, like the, the car scenes and all that that kind of got niche and cut out, but uh I feel like the whole overall vibe of the thing did kind of have that old school feel. You know, also you kind of had an idea for the sitcom intro, like the old black 90s sitcom intro. So I felt like listening to the song, I just had this this vibe of, like it was the theme of that 70s show, but the song had that 90s black sitcom bounce to it. Yeah. So I kind of wanted that feel to it, where it was like, you just see people having fun, just people chilling. Right. And that was kind of the inspiration behind some of the green screen stuff too. It's like right. invoking that energy and telling them to just be themselves, have fun, right. and just think 90s intro. Yeah, so the green screen was like a tough thing though, like uh, just with the location, we didn't have necessarily the correct clearance and height. And it was a little, tight this way so we couldn't get them off the green screen enough to really separate them. Mm -hmm. So how did you kind of go about that in the editing? Right? Yeah, so even in the edit, so behind the green screen, there was this window. So like you could see the light from the window. And a lot of people, they ended, their hand ended up going over there. They kept interacting with it. So it's like I had to be creative with the crop yeah. and then as well with the keying of it. Right. So, so one thing creative is it's like, uh, we have these big thoughts and ideas in our head. And uh, you know, it's always important to write them all down, put them all out there and see what you can and can't execute. Because if you can't execute something, it's okay to kind of take it back or, or adjust. What was some of the things on set creatively that you felt we were able to kind of, you know, change to make, to get what we needed? Literally getting there was the first time seeing that couch. So trying to figure out how we would interact with this couch and how we would make this couch work and how we would continuously make it interesting. So like the part where we had, where Kevin was on each part of the couch where there was four of them. Mm -hmm. That was like one of those on the spot, creative and just figuring it out type of thing. So, uh, I feel like a lot of that, a lot of that happened on that part of the, right. of the video. Yeah, man, I just like working with this guy because like, we're able to bounce things off each other's head real quickly and not have our talent like ticked off, like we're taking too long. But, um, and I trust when he has an idea and likewise he trusts me and we just kind of go for it. And that's what's really important as creatives, like getting your group. And when you're working with your group, just trusting those guys and their girls and letting them go sometimes because in the editing room, it ended up helping because you had way more things to kind of use and work with because we had to cut some things based on location, but uh, yeah. I would say one part uh, when shooting that couch scene, I wasn't sure of, like Justin loved going handheld. He really wanted to go handheld on that one part. And when I got to the edit, like I fell in love with it. Like he did this, I, I know it was like, I probably wasn't supposed to put it in the video, but you did this zoom, like this handheld zoom, mm -hmm. but it just looks so, I, I thought it looked so amazing. <laughs> just zoomed in on uh, Kevin's face while he was wrapped in it. I was like, man, so kind of just trust the process. I really trust this man. So 
you can find me on Instagram under Snow the Man, um, Facebook, Michael Snowden. It's probably the main two social medias that I use. Follow me. Yeah, I might have to have this guy on the channel a little bit more because this conversation went way too soon. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Oh, I'd always be happy, man. Just spread me out. We can do yeah. whatever. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. All right, you two, create to inspire. <laughs> always, always, always create to inspire. If you got any uh, questions, Hit this man up, man. He, he's, he's a very knowledgeable, very talented individual. And uh, see you on the next one.